Welcome to the lecture. If you want to become certified solvent professional and you want to accelerate your career, you want to stand out on the job interview, you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certification exam. How to take this exam and how to pass this exam, find out on the end of this lecture. If you find this video useful, click like and subscribe. In this lecture, we're going to show how to create a helix and how to create a composite curve. So first, let's go to the top plane. Let's create a sketch. Let's create a circle like this. And let's click OK. Now let's exit sketch. So we're going to use this sketch to create a helix. So now let's go to the feature step. Let's go here to the curves. And here we have helix and spiral. So let's choose this. And now we have to select our sketch. So we're going to select this circle and we can already see the preview here. So here we have a few options. We can choose pitch and revolution. We can choose height and revolution or height and pitch or spiral like this. Now first we're going to go with pitch and revolution. Here we have parameters. We can go with constant pitch or variable pitch. We're going to choose constant pitch. So here we can define a pitch. We can increase this and now we can see the changes. Like this. We can also go to reverse direction to the other side. But let's uncheck this. Now here we can choose the number of revolutions. Let's increase this to three like this. And here we have a start angle. Let's decrease the pitch. Let's go with 400 like this, or actually let's go with 200, like this. So here we have a start angle. Our start angle now is zero, but we can increase this. Now we can see the changes. Let's go with 45 degrees, like this. And here we have a clockwise or counterclockwise. Let's go with clockwise. Here we have an option of taper helix. If we check this, here we can define the taper angle. So if we increase this, we can see the changes. Now we have a taper helix. We can also uncheck tape outward and now we go inward. But we're going to uncheck this. And we're going to create something like this. Let's click OK. And this is our helix. Now we can use this helix as a pad for swap was base, for example. Now let's go here to the helix, let's edit feature. So here, instead of pitch and revolution, we can also choose height and revolution. So now instead of a pitch, we can choose the height. So we can go, for example, with 500, like this. As well, here we have our revolutions and start angle. As well, here we have a height and pitch. We can also choose this. Then here we have a height and here we have a pitch. And here we have a spiral. Maybe we wanna create a spiral. And then we have something like this. Here we have a pitch. Here we have a revolutions. We can increase this. Now we can see the changes. We can also go counterclockwise, clockwise, start angle, 45. Let's click OK. And this is the result. And you can also use this as a pad for swap boss base. But let's go here. Let's go edit feature. And let's choose pitch and revolution like this. Let's go with constant pitch. And let's leave everything as it is. And let's click OK. Now this is our helix. And now for example, we can use this as a pad for swept boss base. So we can go to swept boss base. Here we can choose circular profile and we can choose this helix. And here we have a diameter. We can increase the diameter like this and click OK. And this is our result. Now let's delete this, right click and delete. Now we're gonna create another sketch and we're gonna create a 3D sketch. So let's go to sketch tab and let's choose 3D sketch. Let's go with a spline. Let's start here. Let's create some spline like this. Now make sure that we have here coincident like this. We can also define the relation between the spline and helix. So let's go with tangent like this. And let's click OK. 
let's exit sketch. And now for example, we want to use those two curves as a pad for swept boss base. So let's go to features, let's choose swept boss base. So we're going to go with circular profile and we're going to choose this spline and this helix. And now as you can see, it doesn't work. Let's delete here. Let's try to choose this helix. Okay, and now let's choose this spline. And now it doesn't work. So why is that? Because those are two separate curves. We have to combine those two curves into one. And to do that, we need to use a composite curve tool. So let's exit this. Let's go here to features. Let's go to curves. And here we have a tool composite curve. Let's choose this. So here we have to choose entities that we want to join, sketches, edges, and curves. So let's choose this spline and this helix. Let's click OK. And now we can see that this is now one curve. So we can see here on the feature manager design tree that we have composite curve. If we open this, we have this 3D sketch. Now we can go to features, swept boss base, circular profile, and we can choose now this curve. We can increase now the diameter and now this works. Let's click OK. Now if we want to hide this curve, we can just click here and hide. And this is our result. So this is how you can create a helix, spiral and how you can use a composite curve. Hey, my name is Alan. Thank you for watching this lecture. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. If you want to become a SOLIDWORKS professional, if you want to earn a SOLIDWORKS official certificate, then you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certificate exam. This can help you to get a better job, to negotiate a better salary, and to accelerate your career. In order to earn SOLIDWORKS certificate, you have to pass the exams. I have a courses that can prepare you for the exams. I have enrolled over 30,000 students. The rating I have for a professional exam is 4.9. I have preparation for solid professional, finite element analysis, surface, sheet metal, and drawings. In courses, you will find all of the tools explained. You will find exercises, examples, and samples exam, the similar one you can find on the real exam. Right now, I have a special offer, and this is if you buy one course for $10, you will get one course for free that you want. As well, if you refer any course to someone else, you can earn 50% per course. This way you can make passive income. So if you want to get solver certifications and you want to prepare for those exams, click the link below, check my website, and like and subscribe this video.